I'm a senior roster and Jarvie Ross uh, scores a goal, gets an assist tonight. Gusty's battled to a 3-3 tie with St. Olaf. Um, how does this one feel, Ross, on senior night? Uh, I've never been so happy for a tie. <laughs> I mean, we we knew going into this game that uh, a winner or a tie was going to get us the two seeds. So, I mean, in overtime, coach just said, you know, a win or a tie is the same as a win right now for us. And so, yeah, I'm not going to say that we weren't trying to win, but we were trying to make sure that we locked up at least a tie. Um, thoughts after that rough second period, man. You go down, you go down two goals last night, three goals tonight. Yeah. So it's got to take a toll on you, doesn't it? I know, I know. It's mentally hard, but uh, we, you know, we played well tonight the whole game, and we just, we, you know, they scored on their chances and we didn't. I mean, the first period, Smythe had a nice play. I had one that could have gone in. Like we had chances and we just didn't finish, and they did, mm -hmm. and showed up on the scoreboard. I'm a junior, Yol Janssen tonight. Uh, kind of the honorary senior tonight, Yol. Um, junior graduating earlier. Uh, former player turned uh, student assistant coach. Um, we'll talk about the game, you know, big emotional win last night uh, in overtime. Where are your heads at coming into the night? Well, you know, we knew we knew exactly the situation. We needed a, a tie to get the second place. If, if we lost, we'd be fourth. And uh, well, we just needed to just keep, keep grinding and get in there. And uh, after the, you know, after that rough second period, you know, they scored three goals, yeah. kind of reminiscent of last night where they Absolutely. scored two. Um, team didn't really feel like they were out of it, yeah. I suppose, in the third period. Yeah. No, I felt like the the team was we were working hard. We just didn't get the lucky bounces that mm -hmm. they got, and uh, they capitalized on the three opportunities that they had, really. And uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, we're all proud of the boys. They did really well tonight. I think so. It's just it's going to be. Um, it's gonna really be can we mature quickly? Because we're kind of a young team, with only one senior, and so it's. But it's can we mature and understand that like playoffs is every period you gotta play well. If you don't play well, there goes your season. It's not you know like a five game series or something like that. It's really really big. Every period is. I'm talking about Ross, um, you know his leadership throughout the year. Um, he's got to be essential on this team, isn't he? I mean, absolutely. You can just look out there, and I mean, there's a reason why. Everyone's chanting his name, you know. He's, he's a great player, a great leader, and a great friend. So. Well, um, you know, from a coaching pr perspective, because you're a student assistant this yeah. year, um, what do you want to take from this weekend going into the playoffs now? I mean, personally, like, I, I think it's amazing that we can, I mean, be down by three and come back, and it's not the first time either. So mm -hmm. it's just, it just speaks speaks to the character and morale of this team, I think. And a lot of a lot of young kids, but a lot of talented kids, and they're not afraid of hard work to, to work hard either. So. And uh, nothing to lose next weekend. Exactly. As the two seed yeah. at home. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Well, good luck this next week. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Strengths from the weekend, Ross. Um, you know, what are you, you going to see against the St. John's team? What do you remember from them? What do you got to improve on if you're facing them again here? Oh, thinking about St. John's already. Um, St. John's, they they just they play hard, and I don't, I don't know. We just couldn't figure it out. We couldn't figure them out, and we kind of stole a win up there at their place and then kind of came home and it was a real struggle for us to uh, do any much of anything and so but I think you're gonna see a different uh, team out of us we'll be rested and playing one game one game at a time and it seems like the Lions were trying to switch towards the end of the year and kind of guys settling in is that how you see it a little bit yeah I, I mean I think things are still kind of shifting a little bit but they're kind of settling and that's good you kind of get to know who you're playing with a little more and uh, it's it's just settling and we're, it's working, I guess. We're doing well. <laughs> well, um, one more run for you, man. This is it. Um, absolutely. I guarantee the bucket list has got to get back to Lake Placid again. Yeah, huh? it would be, absolutely. Well, I uh, mean, two games away from Nationals. It's one at a time, though. Yeah, well, um, congrats on this weekend. Congrats on the two seed and good luck um, next weekend against St. John's, Ross. Thanks a lot.